Well, I just made it to George Crosby Manitou State Park. Um, as you can see, it's raining. I <laughs> so usually I'll get a park map at the um, park station, I guess, at the ranger station, whatever you want to call it. There was none at this state park. Uh, this state park is on a dirt road, just kind of in the backwoods. So there's an information kiosk, but there was no park office at this state park. It must be a newly developed park, or maybe they just want to keep it this way, but... Um, anyways, I got into the parking lot, kind of turned around because I couldn't find where it said on the map the park office should be. Well, it turns out the park office is just that kiosk. And I ran into some people that were just doing this hike, uh, just for a little day trip hike. And they're from the cities as well. But they were telling me that all of these, uh, there's tons of backpacking sites along this trail that I'm going on right now. And they said all of these sites um, looked vacant. So, or non-vacant? Whatever it means, <laughs> whatever it means when uh, there's no one there. So it looks like the sites are free. I should be good. There's, I think, five sites down this way. And it runs into the river as well, so I'll have a water supply, which is nice. I'll have, hopefully, a nice view and sound of the river running. Um, fires as well. I can have a fire. I don't know if I'll be able to have a fire with all this rain. It's been really a rainy trip. And it looks like, of course, my last two days or day and a half is going to be nice and sunny. So we'll just wait until it gets to Friday though, which is supposed to be sunny. I'm sure it'll change to rain by the time it's Friday. But I'm gonna get walking. Uh, the rain's kinda died down. I just kinda hunkered down this spruce while it started, the rain picked up. So I got my rain gear on, but I still don't wanna have to dry out all my stuff when I get to the campsite, so. Not in a huge rush or anything, just taking it easy today. So first impressions of George Crosby Manitou State Park. I always feel weird when I say that. Um, I'm actually really liking it. It's really muddy and rainy, but when I said I was really liking it, that was not sarcasm. Uh, the trails are seem nice enough. Uh, this is out in the middle of nowhere where I'm almost guaranteed to not see other people. Uh, there are tons of backpacking sites. So, I don't know. I'm just really liking the vibes that I'm getting from this place already. I've seen already um, tons of birch, like larger than I've ever seen before. So that tells you this place is in pretty good hands. I'll show you this one here. Just walked across while I was saying that. Well, I found my campsite. Um, I passed one. It was very open and it was right on the trail. So I was hoping the next one was a little more secluded, which it is. And this one even has a latrine, which I didn't see in the last one. Um, either way, it's going to be wet and kind of muddy, so that wasn't a huge factor in deciding. I'll show you around. There's, well, the latrine's down there. Let's go check it out. I guess I haven't went down there and looked at it yet. They're not hugely too incredible to look at, but let's see what this one has for commodities. Ooh, there's not even a wall. Wall of trees. I mean, it's secluded enough back here. I'm definitely going to have to hang my food. Look at that beautiful cedar. I love how the, uh, like the roots are so red. I've noticed that a lot at this park. Um, anyways, uh, this is, like I was saying, this is a very secluded area. And that kind of draws concern for bears and animals and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to hang my food, and I have honestly don't have much experience with hanging my food. Usually I'm not around bear country and I don't have to worry about it, but... Um, well yeah, let me show you around the rest of the place. That was my kind of hanging station where I posted my backpack and stuff, it was pretty dry. Um, there's my tent. 
Got everything all set up in there now. Uh, this would be a great place to have a fire because you can collect wood and there's plenty of uh, wood around here. Um, but psh, I don't think we're going to be able to have a fire with all the rain that we've had. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty pretty roomy. It's a flat, a couple other flat spots. Um, I'm assuming this is like the main tent pad kind of area, but that's a little too muddy for me. And the main entrance is down this way. I kind of came in through the back door or the bathroom window, if you're Paul McCartney. But yeah, that's the place. We're just getting everything set up. Like I said, going to have to get a bear bag situation taken care of. For supper tonight, I just got some rice. And instead of my twig stove, I brought my little, I don't know if it's butane or what kind of fuel it is, but that little like MSR pocket rocket kind of stove. So I'll show you that a little bit later. You've seen me, if you've seen any of my other videos, um, use that before. So that'll probably be a little bit later. It's about 6 o'clock right now. Um, and then I'll probably just hike around a little bit in this park. Other than that, good vibes. Pretty good location. I'm liking it. So definitely a hidden gem of a state park. I will return here eventually someday. Um, now that I kind of have a feel for it and what it's like. Alright, I didn't want to admit it, but this is my first time hanging a bear bag. And I am pretty impressed with myself. Why don't you check out what I got here? So, I got some rocks in this little, uh, I actually found this at Wild River State Park. I have a video up on that. But I found perfect uh, little branch overhanging. I'll try to pull this up so you can see. So look at that. It's away from the tree. It's up high enough. Man, I feel like a friggin' pro right now. I'm pretty proud of that, if you can't tell. So I'm right up the trail from my campsite. And this is Manitou River. Obviously feeds into Lake Superior. Pretty much any river around here does. But So yeah, this is what I get to listen to as a background noise going to sleep tonight that'll be nice and obviously collecting water wouldn't be a problem if I ever needed extra water I brought uh, three liters usually is like a minimum a standard of what I bring if I'm staying an overnight so and there's tons of these large white pines all around here as well so yeah my site is just tucked back in all nestled back into the woods up there Another one of those huge white pines. The trees in this in this state park are different. I they're older. It's definitely older growth. So I'm seeing a lot fewer of the young trees. That's the dominance at least. But I'm gonna gonna wander on up the trail and see where she leads me. That tree is just enormous. All right, so this is my little campfire stove. Packs up pretty nicely. Apparently it's propane. So, and that all fits. Uh, this part scrunches down into this little thing. And then just the canister itself, I can fit both of those in this pan and pack that pan away. So that works pretty nicely. Um, I'm just gonna sit outside my tent because it's, you know, there's not much cover with the rain and stuff. It's a very wet night. So I got this little overhang in the vestibule. And I'll be extra careful. Don't worry, Mom. Make sure I don't light the tent on fire. But yeah, there she is. We'll get her tonight. I'm going to have taco rice. So... I've been switching it up a lot lately. Last night I had some brats on my grill. Um, what did I have the night before that? Oh, a hamburger the night before that. So, but anyways, 
We're gonna get her going. Well, we got a good boil going there. Simmer, maybe. It's really nice. There's not really any bugs with it being so rainy and kind of swampy. I can sit here in my tent and not have to worry about bugs climbing in. This is probably the first place, first time that I haven't had to worry about bugs in this trip. So that's, that's a good feeling. Probably getting too cold for them. During the nights, it's been getting down to mid to high 40s, so it's been getting pretty chilly. Well, I managed to get a small fire going. So I put most of my wood in already, and I'm just waiting for it to die down. It is, what is it, 8.43 right now, so it's not very late. I mean, it's getting dark at pretty much 8 o'clock, but probably be going to bed around 10. 10 or so. Alright, good morning. So I got my tent and everything all packed up. Um, it's supposed to rain. I think, if I remember right, it said like a 30-40% chance around like 11. So, usually means it's almost definitely going to rain even earlier than that. From my experience so far, at least up here. Uh, that's where I had my tent. Just under that tree there. It's my backpack over here just chilling and I gotta go get my bear bag. So hopefully it's still there. <clears throat> yep, there she is. So there's the tie to this tree. Goes up right there. And I mean that's I'm five nine and I can't reach that. I mean, I'm not tall by any means, but I don't think a bear would be able to reach that. So I think we're good. Um, my brother-in-law, Rudy, taught me how to tie a knot that's really simple and easy to undo. So, and easy to actually tie as well. So thanks for that, Rudy. Um, he's actually got a channel called Adventures with Rudy. Um, I kind of do something similar to what he does, only mine's usually like camping trips and stuff, and his could be, you know, anything. But, so yeah, check that out if you get a chance. Adventures with Rudy. Uh, we're going to go back to the car, have some pancakes, sausage, and go on just a little day trip hike before we leave this place. And then my next stop is Teddy Gooch. Teddy Gucci however you want to say it. Well, it's day six on my week-long adventure. I guess it's over a week long, but it's Thursday today, and I'm finally getting my trail feet. Finally feeling the swing of things. Not feeling as winded or wore out. Um, I've been stretching a little bit every time I put on my backpack and hike it in or out. So I think that's been helping. I just got to a part of the trail that's pretty gnarly and I wanted to show you. So this, as you can see here, this is the trail. And then all of a sudden, it just steps down like that. And really you gotta use these roots sticking up out of the ground as steps. But she's a pretty steep one there. Let's see if I can do it while I'm recording. And everything's all wet and slippery, so this wood is really smooth, and when that's wet, that's super slick. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this while I'm recording. I'll show you the view from the bottom, though. Alright, so you come down that bridge, cross this over here, and then you kind of look around and you're like, well, where's the trail? Okay, maybe it's under that tree towards the river. Well, I went over there, and of course, it's just kind of a dead end on the river. So then you're looking around and this is your next option. What? Just on a little day hike at George Crosby Manitou. Made it to a nice little overlook. Uh, there's some waterfalls down that way. 
And there's actually a campsite down there as well, uh, like pretty close to the waterfalls. So go scope that out for future trips and also just check out the falls, obviously. Away we go. Well, I made it to the falls. They call them the Cascades, which is kind of confusing because Cascade State Park isn't really too far from here, but definitely a pretty waterfall. And the river's pretty calm after it gets gets through that. Here's a steeper climb than I thought it would be. On the way back up is going to be a little a little harder than I anticipated, but that's okay. Probably try to get up a little closer, get a better look at it. A little bit closer view of the Cascades and Manitou River. This, this trail is pretty rough, guys. Very rocky. And where it's not rocks, it's just jagged roots running through. And this is what I meant about the roots. Tree roots sticking up out of the ground. Makes for nice steps, though, honestly. Just gets kind of slippery when it's wet. So I'm just leaving George Manitou right now. Um, if you saw the roads right there, that is what the road through this whole park is, just like a one-way dirt road. And then the next road leading into this one is a two-way dirt road. So um, if that's any suggestion that this is strictly like a backcountry uh, type of park, it definitely is. Oh, water's up there. I got to go get some water. Wish they would have put a sign on it a little bit better. And then you can see the roof to the kiosk right up that way. Oh, backing up. Water. What the heck? So those stairs bring you up to this little building. Whatever the, oh, a whole bunch of fires, fire rings. They must be planning a lot more backcountry sites. Wow. Let's check out this little building. I'm going to be kind of a creep here. Interesting little shop. Hmm. Well, let's go get some water. See the pumps right down there. Looks like it's a old school pump. A lever and everything. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like a urinal. So bear with me, I'm someone that's never used one of these before. Um, it says lift to fill, so I lift it. There's a little, like a shim thing to keep it lifted. And then, I mean, this goes put it down. And it's not just like a little bit of pressure you got to put on it either. That's uh, quite a bit of weight. Oh, this is ridiculous, man. The right there and it's still not coming out. 
I've been pumping it for a while before I started recording too. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm done with that. I don't need water that bad. Getting out of here. I'll go and turn a nozzle and wait for it to come out of faucet instead of mess with that kind of crap. Down we go. No water in the hand.